TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability. In this video, you'll create a simple version of a game. The script will be associated with the stage, so open a new project and immediately save it in the Session 3 subfolder of the Sense Programming Guide as Project 20 underscore SOL. Here's what I want the program to do. And this is an example of pseudocode. It's not any recognisable programming language, but it's not quite proper English either. It just outlines the design of the program, and it's a way that programmers use to get their ideas down on paper before they ever start to use a computer. So, construct a program to do the following. The program should create a random number and ask the user to guess the number and then inform the user of one of the following options that they've guessed correctly, that their guess was too low, that their guess was too high. The program should start with a green flag block and it should set a variable random number to a random integer between 1 and 10 and you'll need to use a, a new kind of block from the operators palette for this. It needs to ask the user to guess the number setting a variable guess to their entry and inform the user about their guess as we've described. This is the first time you've been asked to construct a program from scratch so take your time and work logically through the steps you need to include. You should find that the solution is quite straightforward if you have difficulty, then there are two possible solutions coming up. So press the pause button now and have a go at writing your own program. So here's a solution to this challenge and you can find it as program 20 complete. The pick random block generates a random number between two values. The first input box specifies the lowest possible value for the random number, while the second input box specifies the highest possible value. If both values in the input boxes are integers, then the random number that's generated will also be an integer. If either or both of the values in the input boxes is a decimal, then the random number will also be a decimal. The program uses nested if-else blocks. However, it's possible to create an equivalent program using a sequence of if blocks like this. So, as you've seen, there can be different ways of combining selection constructs to achieve a given task. When writing complex programs, programmers often consider the efficiency of a program when deciding between different ways of constructing it, and that's where designing a program in pseudocode can be very useful. It can help to ensure a program doesn't carry out needless steps. Using nested selection constructs, like these, can avoid unnecessary comparison steps. For example, suppose in a particular execution, random number has value 6, and guess also has value 6. In the case of this program, only one comparison would be made. Sense would check the value of guess random number, find that this is true, inform the user, and then stop. On the other hand, the execution of this solution would involve three comparisons. In fact, each execution of the program would always involve three comparisons. Sense would check whether guess random number is true, find that this is the case, and inform the user. However, it would then continue to execute both lower if blocks regardless, checking both guess if it's less than random number and guess if it's greater than random number and of course, finding them both to be false. To identify the efficiency of these two programs, try counting how many times the value of random number would be compared with the value of guess in the case where random number has value 6 and the guess has value 4. So hopefully you've seen that nesting does tend to have advantages of efficiency. On the other hand, programs involving several levels of nesting can be quite difficult to understand. In section 3, you've seen how sense blocks, if and if else, enable program execution to vary depending on circumstances where those circumstances are formulated as Boolean conditions. 
You also learned about the importance of testing all routes through a program and particularly around boundary values. You've also started creating programs involving the sense board. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.